All right, guys, we're going to be looking at cross sections today. Um, and as we use that, we're going to be using a look at this. We're going to be looking at a different website today um, that will help us through our cross sections unit. So uh, use the link to get to the cross sections activity. You'll draw the cross section that is parallel to the base and then draw the cross section that is perpendicular to the base. So remember parallel and perpendicular is what we're gonna be drawing. And after you will write the name of the two dimensional shape that you see. So the interactive webs, uh, website that it, you're gonna get brought to you through the link looks like this. It looks a little bit confusing, okay? So you are going to have to identify what shape we are working with. So in this case, we have a, um, a prism. We know it's a triangular prism because the sides are rectangular, which make it a prism, and the top and the base, the two bases there are triangles. So I'm going to go back to the interactive website and I'm going to change the shape to a prism. So I'm going to click this and you'll notice that there are a bunch of different sides that show up. If you look at the base right now, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five sides. But we don't need five based off of our image. We need three because we we're talking about a triangle. So I'm going to go to my lateral faces right here and I'm going to bring that down until I see three. Now the goal is to find the cross section that is parallel to the base, okay? And we're gonna use these other three uh, sliders to get it to where it is parallel to the base. So these three sliders right there. So once we do that, I'm gonna say, okay, well, let's go ahead and move the slice around. Notice that is not doing anything. I'm just moving the slice up and down. I'm going to move it sideways. Okay, there it is. And let's see here. Notice this one is making it move down. And once we get in here, you can actually see that it looks like it is approximately parallel to the base, okay? So right in there. So what you should notice is if it is parallel, I'll put the parallel one right here. What I can draw is a triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. I'm gonna say, okay, it looks like we have a triangle. If we cut it straight across parallel to the base, we get a triangle. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and move it to perpendicular. And perpendicular means that it is straight up and down to the base, forming a 90 degree angle with the base. And I'm going to try my best to get there. And notice, once again, I am going to have to rotate this thing. Okay. And as I move it, I want to get it as close to that as possible. Check it out. It looks like that might be perpendicular. It looks pretty good. Okay, and I can move that piece around. And as I move it around, you'll notice that there is a type of shape that is showing up every single time, no matter how I move it perpendicular to the base, I should be looking at a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to draw that in there. If I draw a perpendicular to the base, it looks like I'm getting a shape like this, and it is a rectangle. Now, you will be uh, doing this activity, you'll be looking at pyramids. Now remember pyramids have triangular sides to the base and meet in an apex. Uh, we'll be looking at cylinders. There's your cone. And once again, you will have to move or uh, modify these um, sliders in order for to do this. So in this activity, you'll be drawing parallel to the base and perpendicular to the base for each one of the three dimensional objects that were um, displayed to you in the following activity.